Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 13th TAW Super Show. My name is Josh Ageddon. Uh We have a very interesting card for you here tonight. I'm super excited about it. And we are kicking the show off with Kim Possible versus Miley Cyrus in a singles match to start off the FF portion of the Super Show here tonight. Uh, later tonight in our main event, we have a huge six-man tag team elimination, no disqualification, no count-out match to close things out. That's going to be an absolutely insane match, and there are, are championship implications in that matchup as well. Uh, we have a number one contenders match between Dante and Broly later tonight. The winner will face Virgil at the championship showdown for the TAW Internet title. Uh, we have a submission match later tonight. We also have the XTW Lightning Weight Championship on the line as Kermit the Frog defends against Woody in a rematch from the first episode of XTW Unleashed. I have a lot going on tonight, and again, we're kicking things off with Kim Possible taking on Miley Cyrus. Now, if you did not see the previous episode, the first episode of FF Power, uh, I'll catch you up to speed. Basically, Kim Possible was involved in a fatal four-way matchup to determine the number one contender uh, for the FF YouTube Championship, and uh, she was unsuccessful in that match. But after the match, basically, the Swifties uh, were like, we're going to burn the backstage area to the ground, and they decided to attack a bunch of people. One of, the, one of those people was Kim Possible. Miley Cyrus assaulted Kim Possible and laid her out backstage with the flower liner on a steel grate. It's a wonder that Kim Possible doesn't have a concussion. Uh, and her tag team partner, Shigo, was also assaulted by Hermione and Daphne. And basically, it was like a, a war zone backstage on the first episode of FF Power. It was, it was pretty crazy. So Kim Possible wants revenge on Miley Cyrus here tonight. Uh, Kim Possible requested this matchup. And she's getting it. So uh, can she get revenge on the former Femme Fatale champion? And oh god, speaking of, speaking of Shigo and uh, Daphne assaulting Daphne on the stage. I think Daphne might have been coming out here to watch the match. But Shigo, again, Shigo was assaulted during that brawl. Oh, look at this. Shigo. Oh, Snapmare Driver on the chair. Oh, my God. Daphne might be dead. Oh, and that, that might... Uh oh that might have distracted Kim Possible. Kim Possible's back was turned to Miley Cyrus. And Miley looking to take advantage of that. Miley Cyrus looking to get one over on... Uh oh uh-oh, uh-oh. Not the flower liner. It's all the flower liner on the outside. Miley just laid out Kim Possible again. Oh, and there's Hermione. There is Hermione. Sh Shigo took out Daphne, and now Hermione with a sledgehammer. Oh, dear God. What, is, what has happened with the FF division? Just has turned into absolute anarchy. Oh, but Shigo firing back. Big clothesline on the ramp. Man, things have already not started off well. I thought it was already chaotic enough on the first episode of FF Power, but things I, I, I think this problem is only going to get worse. And uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. That, uh, Hermione in Syria. Oh, dear God. And, oh, a snap hair driver on the sledgehammer! And oh my god, backstage, a Taylor Swift is getting swarmed by the Twisted Sisters. Oh my god, Harley, Dollface, and Sophie Kane, all three of them are jumping Taylor Swift. Remember, on FF Power, after Harley Quinn and Dollface defeated the uh, tag team champions, the Jigglypuffs, uh, Taylor Swift came out and assaulted... Harley Quinn and laid her out, uh, gave her the better than revenge on a broken guitar. So I guess this is a little bit of a response to that. The Swift, the Swifties are having a reckoning right now. And oh no, not on the car, not on the car. And oh my God, what what has happened to, to FF? What in the world? Uh, this is absolute insanity. It's just become a war zone. It has become a war zone again, ladies and gentlemen. This match hasn't even started yet. This match hasn't even started yet. Uh, there's the bell. The bell has now sounded. Now the match is officially underway. Oh, this might be a, a short night for Miley Cyrus, though. Kim Possible's already dazed. Uh-oh. Going, oh, going for the flower liner again. Oh, but Kim Possible trying to fight out of it, and she does. If she would have hit her with another flower liner, that would have been it. But now Kim Possible. What is Kim Possible doing here? Oh, Miley's in trouble. All setting up. And, oh, just spiking her with a DDT on the apron. Man, what? This is how you kick off a super show, ladies and gentlemen, with an absolute brawl on the ramp and backstage. And now into the cover. One, two, but only a two count. Miley Cyrus able to kick out of that apron DDT. Oh, nice counter to a drop toe hold. Man, this, the show just started, and I'm already at a loss for words. And oh, Miley tried to go for a moonsault, but Kim Possible was able to avoid it. And Kim with her own springboard moonsault right to the back. Nice move by Kim Possible, trying to build some momentum here. I don't think either of them were expecting the show to start off quite like this. 
Man, faction warfare, ladies and gentlemen. Gang warfare has enveloped FF, and I am here for it. Although I am concerned. I wonder what Mon Mothma, the general manager, is thinking. Oh, missed the clothesline, missed the clothesline. Oh, roundhouse kick right to the face of Miley Cyrus. Oh, but Kim not going for the cover. Oh, oh going to set up for another one. Oh, a roundhouse kick to the side of the head. First to the face, then to the temple. One, two, and three. Kim Possible makes short work of Miley Cyrus. Kim was able to get revenge here tonight. Despite the fact that, you know, absolute chaos is breaking out all around us. But man, Kim Possible able to get a win over the woman that assaulted her on FF Power. That's got to feel good. And she got with a little bit of an assist by taking out the other members of the Swifties. And, you know, the, the uh, Twisted Sisters assaulting Taylor Swift. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. Someone get backstage. The Powerpuff Girls now. Because remember, the Twisted Sisters also attacked the Powerpuff Girls on the last episode of FF Power. And now, the Powerpuff Girls look like they want their pound of flesh. Uh, uh, Buttercup and Bubbles going after Sophie Kane and Dollface. Where's Blossom and where's 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 Harley Quinn? Uh, uh, we need to get the National Guard. Oh, there's Blossom and Harley Quinn. Blossom going after Harley Quinn right next to that blue car. Oh, no. I feel bad for whoever owns that blue car. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all oh, slamming the hood on her. Uh -oh. Caitlyn! Caitlyn of the Real Divas! Caitlyn, who was also unhappy because of what happened, and a spear to Blossom! A spear to Blossom, and now going after Harley Quinn, and a spear on Harley Quinn! Again, get the Army, the National Guard, the FBI, the CIA backstage. Just ab an absolute mess backstage. I mean, we call it uh, gang warfare, faction warfare. I think it's really kicking up a notch here tonight on the Super Show. But man, I was not expecting it to be this insane right out the gate at the beginning of the show. But uh, here, moving on with our next matchup, we have Jane the Killer versus Bella Swan. Uh, I, and I believe on the previous Super Show... Okay, Jane the Killer with a little bit of a change in attire. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, Jane the Killer uh, wrestled Wednesday Adams, I, I believe, on the previous Super Show... And uh, she uh, she lost that match, but again, it was Jane versus Wednesday Adams, and Wednesday Adams won the match. After the match, Bella Swan, who was Jane's tag team partner, came out and tried to attack Wednesday Adams, but Jane the Killer stopped uh, Bella Swan and assaulted her. And base and from what I understand, it looks like I think it's pretty obvious she's joined forces with Wednesday Adams. I mean, she's she's even mimicking her attire. So, apparently, Wednesday Adams and Jane the Killer are tight now. And Belle Swan is like, what the heck, bro? Why did you betray me? Why did you join her? And now Bella is going up against uh, Jane the Killer tonight. But she's at a bit of a disadvantage because Wednesday Adams is in uh, Jane the Killer's corner. So, Jane the Killer honestly has not had the most impressive career. I mean, I don't know. I, she, ha I, she you, could tell, you could count the amount of victories that she's had on one hand. So... Maybe she saw the writing on the wall and it is like, you know what, I should probably join up with Wednesday Adams to, you know, improve my standings here on FF. But uh, clearly not uh, uh, taking into consideration how Bella Swan would feel about that. So Bella wants to get a little bit of revenge on um, Jane the Killer in this matchup. Again, feeling betrayed. So here we go, Jane. Oh, Jane immediately starting with a running dropkick to the face and already off to a bad start for Bella Swan. And already looks like a little bit of a change in attitude for Jane the Killer. It looks like an increased amount of intensity now that she's sided with Wednesday Adams. And now, oh, but Bella trying to uh, yank her down. And, oh, a shot right to the arm as Wednesday Adams looks on. Wednesday, who's still relatively new to the roster. She's been, she's won some matches, she's lost some matches. And, oh, a hard Irish whip by Bella Swan into the corner. But this is a very interesting development uh, now that, uh, again... Jane the Killer dressing up just like uh, J uh, Wednesday Adams. Man, I can absolutely see them trying to make a play for the tag team titles. But uh, oh, now look at this. An, an, an arach an, an, I don't even know what you call that. The arachnid clutch in the corner. And a springboard clothesline to knock down Bella Swan. As Jane, man, Jane looks all kinds of confident. And a oh, springboard elbow drop right to the sternum. And Jane the Killer is in control of this contest as we, as we start off here. I'm still trying to get over the absolute insanity of the first match and the brawl backstage. But Bella Swan firing back with a head scissors takedown and again Wednesday Adams back on the apron just being in a, a presence in this matchup 
uh, to, I guess, intimidate and throw Bella Swan off her game. Although, again, Bella Swan, you can count the amount of victories that she's uh, had in uh, TAW on one hand and still have fingers left over. But a float over DDT by uh, Jane the Killer as this matchup continues. And a, knee, and a man, big knee drops. And again, I just Jane the Killer feels like she has a renewed intensity here. But, oh, spinning kick right to the face. A beautiful kick by Bella. Just knocked Jane the Killer on her ass, but Jane trying to fire back here. Oh, but a go behind, go behind. And another running bulldog. Take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. We take shots of things we eat here. It doesn't make any sense, but that's why I don't want you to think about it. Uh, just don't question it. And a nice uh, swinging neck breaker by Jane the Killer. And Bella in a lot of trouble here. Now some stomps as Jane tries to get something going here. Oh, but gets blocked. And oh, nice counter with a big clothesline by Bella Swan. She's like, you bitch, you turned on me. And now you're dressing up as the person that I don't like. And now I'm just angry. I am one angry vampire. But a nice Insiguri counter by Jane the Killer. And now just launching Bella. Oh, but Bella hangs on. And oh, spearing Bella into the announce table. And now Jane. Oh, another diving elbow. This Oh, that, that, that looked like he got her right in the side. Man, usually the diving elbow goes to the sternum, but that time she got her. Did she connect with the hip? That looked nasty. That was a nasty connection there on the outside. And another elbow, this time to the face. And Bella's in a lot of trouble here. Uh, Jane is in command. And oh, another counter into an Insiguri. Man, Bella Swan in a lot of trouble here. Again, she's she's outnumbered, and it looks like she's outgunned here. But oh, counter again into another head scissors takedown into the ropes. Man, I'll give Bella credit for this. She's trying her best. She's trying her best. But again, man, Jane is just all over here with some kicks and another Insiguri. Man, Jane the Killer in complete control here. And oh, went for a shoulder block. Did not work. Oh, Irish whip. Turning her. Oh, counter though. Counter though with a kick to the gut. Oh, counter again. Uh, Schoolgirl. Schoolgirl. One. Two. Oh, that was close. Bella just barely kicks out. That was a close one. Irish whip counter into the ropes. And Hurricane Ron, a nice Frankensteiner by Bella. Bella trying to build some momentum here. Oh, well, perhaps that taunting was uh, misguided. Nice counter. And a nice... Oh, this time, uh, Jane with her own running head scissors. Now going to the top rope. Oh, setting up for another diving elbow. And another diving elbow connects. Man, I don't, I don't see how Bella wins this matchup at this point. She's taking a lot of damage. And now Jane setting up for the go to sleep. Oh, she's got her up. If she connects with this, it's over. Go to sleep connects. That's got to be it. Into the cover. One, two, and three. Jane the Killer defeats Bella Swan and gets a very important win. I mean, she's now clearly aligned herself with Wednesday Adams, and it has clearly paid off. Uh, th this new alliance between Wednesday Adams and Jane the Killer has paid dividends. I mean, are they going to be a new force to be reckoned with in the FF roster? A, a roster that's already tumultuous enough, but. Well, we've got to go to commercial real quick. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. All right, up next, ladies and gentlemen, Kermit the Frog will be defending the XTW Lightning Weight Championship in a rematch against Woody. Of course, he defeated Woody for this title on the first episode of XTW Unleashed with a frog splash. Wow, Kermit the Frog used a frog splash. Who would have thought? Uh, but yeah, this is a rematch. Woody wanted his rematch here tonight on the 13th Super Show. Uh, can Woody win back the title and basically give Kermit a very short reign here in TAW? And we are here in Richmond, Virginia. For the uh, 13th Super Show, we don't come to Richmond very often. And here comes Woody looking to win back the title and become a two-time Lightning Weight Champion. Things have not been going super great for Woody as of late. Uh, I mean, his last two matches were defeats. 
Of course, on the first episode of XTW Unleashed, he lost the title to Kermit the Frog in the opening contest of the uh, first episode of Unleashed. And then on the Halloween special, he was involved in the XTW Submission Championship Tournament, where he went up against Freddy Krueger in another losing effort. So, things have not been going super great for Woody, but he can turn things around here tonight with a win to win back the title and basically hand Kermit the Frog one of the shorter title reigns here in TAW, but can he do that? Again, he lost to Kermit the Frog on Unleashed. So Kermit Kermit has a lot of momentum right now. He's uber popular, but can Woody turn things around? Because Woody had a lot of momentum before and after winning the title. I mean, he, he made that poor bastard, the Green Lantern, submit so many times with the Woody's Roundup. If he locks in the Woody's Roundup on this man slash frog, he might win the title back. But here comes the XTW Lightning Weight Champion making his, his maiden voyage as champion, Kermit the Frog. And, man, this dude is so popular right now. I mean, in, in basically no time flat, Kermit the Frog has become one of the more popular faces in XTW and has already won himself a championship. I mean, he's, he's, I don't even think he's been in TAW for a full calendar year. But, again, Kermit the Frog already... I mean, you can hear his biggest fan, Sean McCarty, the Sentinel. Shout out to Sean McCarty, your colonial champion. You can hear Sean from Connecticut just going, Kermit! 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 <laughs> so uh, he already has Sean's uh, note of a, a note of approval. But here we go with the XTW Lightning Weight Championship on the line. Kermit making his first championship defense against the toy. I was going to say the man, but the toy he defeated for that title. Can he, defe can he defeat Woody once again, or is Woody going to recapture his championship and turn things around for himself? Because again, he's suffered recent defeats. Kermit the Frog looking to bounce uh, into this matchup. Oh, li literally bounce <laughs> into this match. How do you not love Kermit the Frog? Like, if you hate Kermit the Frog, there must be something wrong with you. But man, I can tell you, uh, unless you're Woody. If you're Woody and you hate Kermit the Frog, I kind of get it. I, I, honestly, because again, he he beat you for a championship. So that, I can, I can understand that. But that's what it's all about. Referee Mace Windu with the uh, XTW Lightning Weight Championship in his hands. And that is what it's all about. The only championship match of the night... Can Kermit the Frog retain against Woody in this matchup? This is this is going to be good. They had a good match on the first episode of Unleashed, but I'm expecting more of the same here. And, oh, oh, did you see that? Uh, nice start with a collar and elbow tie-up. Again, shout out to Sean McCarty. And a monkey flip on the Frog. Interesting. But did you see how they both started charging and they were both like, oh, actually, no, wait, I changed my mind. Uh, both, they do not want to get too far ahead of themselves, which is understandable. And oh, Kermit the Frog countering with a, a jawbreaker. I, aren't frogs' heads kind of squishy? Uh, and Woody's a toy, so I don't know how super effective a jawbreaker would be on a plastic toy, especially if you have a squishy head. But uh, that, that'll that work. That'll work moving out of the way of a knee drop. As I question the... Uh, the oh, 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 nice DDT by uh, Kermit the Frog. A Wilbro DDT cover one, but only a one count as I question the... Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the bodily accuracy of... A, a, a toy fighting a frog here on XTW. Wow, look at this uh, Woody building momentum here. And oh, big drop kick right to the face. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. Damn. Tell us how you w really feel, Woody. Man, both shots right to the head. And now Woody with a sunset flip power bomb, but did not go for the cover. I think he realized that he was too close to the ropes. And also, I think he al is he already gonna try to set up for the Woody's roundup. I mean, this match just started, bro. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's already he's already going for the Woody's Roundup. This is this is the movie used to win the title. He's got a locked in on Kermit the Frog. Is Kermit the Frog gonna submit here? Oh, uh, and Woody, but old Kermit was able to get out of it. Oh, Woody, the back of Woody's head bounced off the ropes. And oh, big springboard bulldog. Kermit the Frog's like, no, 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 not today, not today. I'm gonna walk out of here as champion. And, oh, a big punch right to the face of Woody. And that that could have been an early disaster for Kermit, but he was able to get out of it. Oh, big stomp on Woody. Big stomp. And now into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two for Woody. And near fall there for Kermit the Frog. And now picking Woody back up. And oh, big drop kick right to the face. Man, Kermit has those hops, but again, he is a frog. And speaking of frogs, here comes the huge frog splash. Frog splash connects. Is that enough? Into the cover. One, two, Oh, Woody just barely gets the shoulder up. That was close. I thought that was it. And look, man, look at the athleticism of Kermit the Frog. How do you not love this guy? 
Nice uh, springing into the ropes, coming off with that uh, that that flipping uh, head scissors takedown on his challenger, the current number one contender for the XCW Lightning Weight Champion. Uh, again, Woody uh, turning in his rematch. And, oh, what a head! But that head will be effective. He might have knocked him out. One, two, and a kick out at two by Kermit the Frog. I think a toy headbutting a frog would be more effective. Why, why am I arguing the the accuracy and the realness of a toy headbutting a frog or a frog headbutting a toy? Uh, but anyway, I have a Kermit the Frog trying to build some momentum here. And oh, hesitation drop kick into the corner. Nice move by Kermit the Frog. Man, Kermit the Frog is hype, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure what he's doing, probably trying to get the crowd into this match. Kermit, focus on winning. Kermit, you need to focus. I get it, you're excited. Oh, but now he's going for another frog splash. Another one will do it. It's all, oh, but Woody was able to see it coming, and he rolled out of harm's way. Man, Kermit took a little bit too much time celebrating, and an, a DDT by Woody. Man, I, perhaps going to the going to the outside to hype up the crowd was a mistake, and that might come back to bite Kermit the Frog. And oh, big diving kick right to the face. Nice move by Woody. And now Woody dragging him away from the ropes. Trying, perhaps going to go for a cover. Does not want to get a rope break. Or perhaps is going to go for the Woody's roundup again. But Kermit the Frog trying to get up. Trying to get up. He knows that Woody's going to try to put him in that submission hold again. And Kermit knows that he might not be able to get out of it a second time. And again, Kermit trying to stay off of his back. Smart move. Keep his shoulders off the mat. But oh, runs into another DDT. And now rolling out of the ring. And that, that was smart That was smart ground game by Kermit, trying to stay off his shoulders, trying to stay off his back, because again, uh, oh wait, what, what is Kermit doing here? But the, oh, look, look at that, nice drop, he landed his feet in a, a clothesline, knocking Woody to the outside, Kermit is so impressive, that was impressive, that was some Matrix shit right there, and now Kermit the Frog again on the top rope, what is he going to go for here, and uh, I'll try to go for some kind of corkscrew, but Woody moved out of the way, but Kermit... Uh, with a kick to the face, uh, nor you, you would think missing a high-flying move would hurt a lot. But, oh, short DDT on the outside. A lot of DDTs in this match. But again, Kermit the Frog is a frog, so they're used to falling. And, oh, a nice shooting Kermit press. I guess shooting Kermit press on the outside. But I, I think it wouldn't hurt as much for Kermit to miss a high-flying move. Because, again, he's a frog, and he's kind of bouncy. And now Kermit on the apron. Again, the, the biology of frogs coming into play a lot in this matchup for some reason. Another shooting Kermit press. And now into the cover. One, two, and another near fall here. Woody kicking out once again. And now back to his, uh, trying to get back to his feet. And oh, oh, drop kick right to the back of the head. And now these two going at it again. Oh, oh, count, oh, and he lands on his feet. Nice counter. Oh, no, look at this shit. That, that, that is some crouching tiger hidden dragon shit right there. Wow, that was impressive. That That's what the lightning weight division is all about. And Kermit with a Spanish fly on top of that, man. That sequence was money right there. But now Kermit at the top rope right in position for another frog splash. That's got to be it. Into the cover. One, two, three. And just like that, Kermit the Frog retains the Lightning Weight Championship by defeating Woody once again. That closing sequence was straight out of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That was nuts. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Frog, I guess, here on the 13th Super Show. But still your Lightning Weight Champion, the uber-popular Kermit the Frog. Man, who's going to beat this guy for the Lightning Weight title? This dude is so impressive. But up next, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of submissions, we have the next match in the first round of the XTW Submission Championship Tournament. We have Luigi versus Silver the Hedgehog. Uh, this is going to be a very interesting matchup. Uh, Luigi, he's again, very very much still shocked us when he returned uh, during the Royal Rumble on the first episode of XTW Unleashed. Uh, because again, before that, uh, he's been in CIW a lot, but in TAW, the last time we saw him, was funnily enough when he lost a hardcore submission match to his brother Mario at way back at Perfect Storm 2 for the TAW Lightning Weight Championship. So after that, he went basically went on went on went in exile, uh, pretty much. He left the company for several years, reemerged in CIW, and from what I hear, has actually been working with his brother Mario. So it appears that they've mended fences after their uh, intense rivalry several years ago. And uh, a, a couple weeks ago, uh, he had a triple threat match on XCW against um, 
against Freddy Krueger and Brian Danielson, which he was actually able to win that match by pinning Freddy Krueger with a spike DDT. So Luigi building some momentum, trying to get back to his winning ways. Uh, and again, uh, he is well-versed in submissions. He is very good with the ankle lock. He uh, used the ankle lock a lot uh, before uh, losing to Mario at Perfect Storm 2 and, before, and then going, uh, going deep into exile. Now, I am not very sure about the submission game of Silver the Hedgehog. Although Silver is a, a former UCT Lightning Weight Champion, I do think I've seen him use the ankle lock before. So, both of these guys... I know Luigi is proficient in the ankle lock, and I know I think Silver has used it before. So, it's basically, I think this match is going to be the ankle lock versus the ankle lock. So, we're going to see who has the better ankle lock in this matchup to move on to the second round of the XTW Submission Championship Tournament. Uh, people we've already seen advance in this tournament. We've already seen Zack Sabre Jr. advance by defeating Anderson Silva back at Fusion. Uh, we saw, um, we saw, um, what's his name? His name literally just went out of my out of my brain. Uh, Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner. We saw him defeat Yoda, I believe, on the previous Super Show. Um, we also saw Freddy Krueger defeating Woody on the Halloween special. So who's going to advance next? And oh, Luigi wasting no time with a dropkick in the corner on Silver the Hedgehog. Man, I think just being in a submission matchup kind of gives Luigi flashbacks. And oh, Luigi already going after the leg. Already trying to set up for that ankle lock. Going after the leg of Silver the Hedgehog. And oh, just repeated elbow strikes to the knee and the leg. Man, trying to damage it already so we can go for the ankle lock. But seriously, does being in a submission match give Luigi PTSD? Uh, of losing that hardcore submission match to his brother Mario all those years ago, back in 2020. Oh, and now Luigi already going for a power bomb and a oh massive power bomb on S Silver already off to a bad start here. It's oh, and a rake to the back. Damn, Luigi not wasting any time. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, jumped over him. And Luigi looks like he hasn't lost a step. And oh, right into a tilt a whirl backbreaker. Luigi has all the momentum right here. And now, wait, what is it going for here? Oh, for a second there, I thought he was going to go for an ankle lock. We're setting up for a Romero special. Going for that Romero special. And he's got it locked in, ladies and gentlemen. He's got it locked in. Oh, is Silver... Oh, wait a second. Oh, and now putting on the Dragon Sleep. This is the move that Zack Sabre Jr. used to make Anderson Silva submit. Uh, borrowing a page out of Zack Sabre Jr.'s playbook. And, oh, oh, Silver with a punch right to the big nose of Louis. Right to that big Italian nose. And, oh, what what a move by Silver. A backflip power slam. Oh, but Luigi responds with a big drop kick to the face. Man, Silver, that one move is the only thing Silver has done in this matchup thus far. It has been all Luigi. And, oh, but, oh, man, Luigi tried to go for a splash, but Silver saw it coming. And a DDT on the floor. Now, Luigi is not a frog, so he's not going to be able to just bounce right back from missing a move like that. But now, now Silver has an opportunity to build some offense here in this submission matchup. And again, this is a submission match. The only way to win this match is to make your opponent tap. Oh, that's what Luigi's gonna try to do. Luigi's trying to go for the ankle lock. The ankle, oh, but he's way too close to the ropes. Man, that was a lucky break for Silver right there. Able to get to the ropes to force the break. And now both back on the outside again. Oh, what is Luigi doing here? It's all Northern Light Suplex into the, right into the apron. I think Silver's legs bounced off the apron. Again, Smart going after the back and the legs to set up for the ankle lock. And Luigi just seems to be completely in control of this matchup as of right now. Silver the Hedgehog behind the eight ball. And now picking Silver back up. What is Luigi going to do here? Oh, just try to throw him back. This is not submission count anywhere. Which again is uh, reminiscent of that hardcore submission match that he lost uh, four years ago at uh, Perfect Storm 2. Can't believe that show was four years ago. Time flies. Now, he's got him back in the ring. What is Luigi going to do here? And, oh, that was almost a brain buster. Man, this match has been predominantly Luigi. Oh, now, oh, is, oh Silver's in trouble. Oh, oh, knee to the face. Nice counter by Silver with a knee to the face. And now, oh, oh but a kick to the leg. Again, trying to, oh, drop kick right to the leg. Again, trying to soften him up for the ankle lock. And now Silver back up. Oh, but again gets countered. Nice counter by Silver the Hedgehog with that knee to the face. I think that's exactly what he was expecting. Oh, he's got him in the full Nelson. Setting up. It's no use. And I believe Luigi has been busted wide open. It's no use connects. And he's been busted. Oh, a punch in the face. 
Oh, going for another one. And another it's no use. Two it's no uses. Man, it must really be no use. But what is Silver going to do here? Silver's got to capitalize. And in most matches, he would have gone for a pin right there. Oh, no. Is he going right after that open wound? I think he's sticking his fingers into the open wound of Luigi, trying to get a submission here. Man, is, he, is it going to work? Can he make Luigi tap out with this submission hold? He's got it locked in. Oh, and Luigi going after the leg again. Going after the ankle. Oh, now again, got him in that takedown. Going for the ankle lock again. He's got a, But again, Silver too close to the ropes. Man, he's got to get him away from the ropes before he tries to go for the submission hold. Oh, now a takedown. And now Silver going for the ankle lock. Silver has a lock. But again, now Luigi's way too close to the ropes. Guys, if you want to go for a submission hold, get him away from the ropes. And now oh, Silver perhaps going to set up for another It's No Use. Well, he's got it locked. And a third It's No Use. If this was a regular match, I think this would be over. But again, this is a submission match. So Silver, Silver looks uh, like he does, he's not sure what to do. But he's got him in a nut. Is that a heel hook? He's got him in a leg lock, trying trying to go for the submission here. He tried the ankle lock earlier, but was too close to the ropes. Oh, Luigi might have to tap out here, but Luigi trying to get out of this and some big punches right to the face of Silver the Hedgehog, able to escape that submission attempt. And both competitors back to their feet. And Luigi springboard, crossbody wiping out Silver the Hedgehog. And they're also lightning weights, ladies and gentlemen. So there's going to be some high flying here, but Luigi perhaps setting up for the screwdriver. Oh, wait, full Nelson. Wait, and Luigi steals. Luigi just stole. It's no use. Are you kidding me? And now to put insult to injury, or I guess in uh, injury to the insult, he's got him in the ankle lock once again. Oh, and he's nowhere near the ropes. He's got the ankle lock cinched in. Right. Oh, and Silver has no choice but to tap out. Luigi wins the submission match. That's got to be humiliating. First, he hit him with his own finishing move and then put him in the ankle lock after working on the leg the entire match. And Silver the Hedgehog had no choice but to tap out. Luigi advances to the next round of the Lightning of the uh, XTW Submission Championship Tournament. Man, who's going to move on next? Who is going to move on to the second round of this Submission Championship Tournament? We will just have to see. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to announce that I am officially joining Rumble. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. TAW is now joining Rumble. For those of you that don't know, Rumble is uh, another video sharing platform, kind of like YouTube, but minus all of the, uh, you know, censorship issues. Love you, YouTube. Love you very much. But yeah, TAW is officially joining Rumble. That does not mean that I'm leaving YouTube. I'm not. TAW is going to stay on YouTube until the day I die, basically. But I'm also going to be posting videos on Rumble starting tomorrow, which is, I believe, Wednesday the 20th of November. Uh, starting tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be posting videos on Rumble, also on YouTube, and kind of like how uh, post-tap, a lot of the episodes are on Spotify only, but some of the videos will be on YouTube as well. Kind of the same thing here. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow, the first video that I will post on Rumble is a TAW match, which is going to pit John Cena versus Seth Rollins. So be looking forward to that. It's also kind of a TAWTF match. So tomorrow, the first video on uh, my Rumble page will be Seth Rollins versus John Cena in a singles match. Of course, it's going to be on WWE 2K23. Be looking forward to that. Uh, go down to the description below uh, to be looking forward to all the things I'm going to be doing on Rumble. I'll have a lot of ideas, a lot of things that I want to post on Rumble that I'm not going to put on YouTube. Some things I'll put on both Rumble and YouTube. But again, go to the description and go check out my page on Rumble, and be sure to follow or subscribe or whatever it is you do on Rumble. I'm new to Rumble, so I'll have to figure it out as we go. But again, once one final time, TAW is officially joining Rumble, so be looking forward to that. And now to close out Super Show Episode 13, we have the main roster part of the show, and we are kicking that off with Dante versus Broly in a number one contenders match. The winner of this match will face Virgil for the TAW Internet Championship at the upcoming Championship Showdown. So it's either going to be brother versus brother, or it's going to be Virgil versus Broly, and I would be down for either match. And I'm also very interested in this one. There's no love lost between these two in this matchup. And I think it would be very fair to say that Broly absolutely despises Dante, because either indirectly or directly... This man coming out to the ring now has cost Broly the Internet Championship 
on multiple occasions. Most recently on uh, TAW Rivals, where Broly uh, was in a triple threat matchup against uh, Trunks and Virgil for the internet title. During the match, Dante came down to ringside and dropped Broly with a Devil Trigger DDT, basically handing Virgil the win before Dante turned around and attacked his own brother. And even Nero, uh, his nephew, was like, hey, why'd you help my dad win the title? And Dante was simply like, yeah, uh, I did that not because I love your dad, but because if anyone's going to take the title from my brother, it's going to be me because uh, my brother sucks. I mean, believe it or not, remember, at the beginning of the year, during the 10-year anniversary show, this match happened. It was Dante defending the internet title against Broly, and Virgil came out and cost Dante the match. He, tr he tried to trip up Dante, allowing Broly to hit him with the Omega Eraser to win the title. So, a lot of history between these three individuals. But again, Broly, not happy. I mean, he's never happy. Broly is always in a perpetual state of, I'm so mad that I want to kill someone. And he absolutely would love to murder Dante. Because again, Dante has cost uh, Broly the internet title on multiple occasions. Not just during that triple threat match on Rivals where he laid him out with the Devil Trigger DDT on the floor before threw him into the ring, allowing Virgil to get the 1-2-3. But again, this is a number one contenders match between these two hated adversaries. The winner of this match gets Virgil for the internet title on the championship showdown. So that's going to be very interesting. And remember, Broly was the uh, was the champion before Hardcore Paradise, before he lost it to Virgil in the Elimination Chamber. Virgil never pinned Broly in that matchup, but he still won the match by last eliminating Sephiroth. So can Virgil walk out of the uh, Championship Showdown still the champion? Who's going to be his challenger? We're about to find that out. And here we go. Dante and Broly. Oh, Dante. Oh, perhaps telling him up yours was not a smart move at the outset of this matchup. Broly with an immediate spear. Yeah, these two hate each other. This is this is going to be a brawl. And Dante already with an arbiter to the outside, just wiping out Broly. Man, this is going to be intense. This whole show has been intense. Ever since the insane beginning... Well, oh, nice throwback by Dante. Ever since the insane beginning with the Swifties and the Twisted Sisters and the Powerpuff Girls and the Real Divas just going to war backstage. Well, springboard elbow, but he missed it. And now off that springboard miss, Broly firing back with a nice... Oh, he wound him up into a huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex. And another, belly, uh, another huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex on the former internet champion... Dante, of course, a former two-time internet champion. Broly, former molecular champion, former internet champion. Big clothesline, knocking down Dante. Yeah, there's, there's going to be a lot of hard strikes in this match. Nice jumping kick right there, jumping axe kick by uh, by uh, Dante. And, of course, after this is our massive, massive main event, which we'll get to in a second. And another Arbiter out of the corner by Dante. And now Dante with... Oh, nice suplex with a bridge. One, but only a one count. Uh, that, was, that was impressive. Oh, oh, got caught, got caught. Oh, big spine buster by Broly. That was an impressive move by Dante, but he ran right into that spine buster. But again, firing back with a Luthez press. He's like, you're not going to fight my brother. That's going to be me. <laughs> oh, and now Dante with that, that very impressive breakdancing leg drop right there. And off the leg drop. Oh, another leg drop. This time from the top rope. But Broly trying to get back to his feet. Dante picking him up. What's Dante going to do here? Going to the top rope. Oh, but Broly meeting him up there. And a huge belly-to-belly -belly suplex from the top rope. That was impressive. Into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Almost won the matchup off of that huge superplex from the top rope. And another throwback by Dante. Oh, right into the drop zone. And Dante with another diving leg drop. Broly in a lot of trouble here. Now into the cover. One, two. Two, and a kick out at two. And again, these two met earlier in the year for the internet title, and Broly won thanks to uh, thanks to Virgil. Oh, and Dante, Dante! Oh, man, he nailed him with the ebony and ivory scissors kick. And now into the cover. One, two, and again, Broly kicks out at two. That was a close one. Dante trying to put this one away as quick as he can, because he knows how dangerous Broly is. I mean, look at Broly. The dude looks like a war machine. And now just a front mount, just... Punching him right in the face with those giant fists. Imagine getting hit in the face with someone whose fist is as big as Broly's. And oh, a huge German suplex. That, that was a nasty landing for Dante. And Bro Broly would no would love nothing more than to defeat Dante and become number one contender here tonight. And now just launching him into the turnbuckle. And Owen Broly with another massive spear, nearly cutting Dante in half. Into the cover. One. Two! Oh, and a kick out at two! Man, near fall after near fall here in this matchup. 
to determine the number one contender for the internet title. And now Broly, top rope. Oh, just wiped him out with a massive clothesline. Oh, he's going to go for another spear. Going to set up for another spear. That'll be the third one of the match. And, oh, oh Dante with a counter. What a counter by Dante into a massive hip toss. Man, Dante saw that one coming from a mile away. Oh, he's got, oh, he's got him up. He's got him up. Oh, counter, though. Oh, he's got him in position. Perhaps going for the 666. And the 666 connect. The marks of the beast connects, ladies and gentlemen. And the big splash. Oh, and Dante using that to set up perhaps for the devil trigger. Oh, we used this on him on Rivals, and it led to Virgil winning. Oh, he's got him hooked, and he's got him up, and spikes him with the devil trigger DDT. Will that be enough? Cover. One, two, three. Dante is your number one contender. So at the championship showdown, it is going to be brother versus brother, Dante challenging Virgil for the TAW Internet Championship. I'm looking forward to that. After an entire calendar year, can Dante get revenge on his brother for costing him the Internet Championship? And what better way than to do that by taking the title from him to become a three-time Internet Champion? A big victory for Dante tonight, becoming the number one contender for the Internet Championship. But up next is our massive main event with more championship implications as Dante continues to celebrate. Look at this match. This is a main event right here. Six-man tag team elimination match, no disqualifications, and no countouts. The Shaolin Combat Club, the TAW champion Liu Kang, Bruce Lee, and Kung Lao going up against Vegeta, Trunks, and Gohan. If Vegeta's team wins this match, Vegeta will get another chance at the TAW World Heavyweight Championship that is around the waist of the Elder God Liu Kang. However, if the Shaolin Combat Club wins this match, Vegeta will not be allowed to challenge for the TAW Championship for the remainder of Liu Kang's reign as champion. So this is do or die for Vegeta here tonight. And again, this is an elimination match. The only way to win this match is to eliminate every member of the opposing team inside the ring. This is not false count anywhere. However, there are no disqualifications and no countouts, so it's going to get wild. And not only are weapons allowed, they are encouraged. So it's going to get violent. It's going to get brutal. It's going to get nasty real quick here in our main event. And again, if Vegeta's team wins this match, he will get another champs. Uh, he will get another opportunity against Liu Kang for the title. But if Vegeta's team loses, that's it. That, that he will not get any more opportunities. He will not be allowed to challenge for the title for as long as Liu Kang holds it. Remember, it was back at TAW Armageddon when Vegeta and Liu Kang had a street fight for the TAW World Heavyweight Championship, and because of the Joker, uh, Liu Kang was able to win the title, becoming a two-time TAW champion. And then they had an epic, an absolutely epic rematch at Hardcore Paradise this year in that 60-minute Iron Man match, which honestly is one of the best matches of the year. That, Deku and John Cena, uh, Jacob Cass and Jack Six, just some of the best matches of 2024. Although the ending was a little bit ruined because of Kung Lao basically winning the match for Liu Kang, which has still got to be bothering Vegeta. And of course, this issue has been spilling over into the Totally Awesome Tournament. Uh, they cost uh, Vegeta the first round uh, against Bruce Lee. And then uh, Trunks uh, got cost his spot in the uh, the second round the other day because of interference from the Shaolin Combat Club. So yeah, this has been going on for a while. Th this whole feud between everyone from Dragon Ball Z versus everyone from Mortal Kombat has been going on for months and months and months. And it comes to a head here. Is Vegeta going to get one last opportunity, or did he already have his last opportunity? We will see. And here comes Trunks, who's got to be frustrated, because he he came very close to defeating the Joker in the second round of the Totally Awesome Tournament. But thanks to the Shaolin Combat Club distracting the referee, the Joker was able to hit him in the face with brass knucks to advance in the tournament. And then it le the, the second round of the Totally Awesome Tournament went off the air with... Uh, a big, well, I think it was the, I think it was the first half of the second round that went off the air with basically a huge brawl between the Z Warriors and the Shaolin Combat Club. But here comes Gohan, former TAW Internet Champion. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of a lot of gold here in this matchup. Uh, Vegeta, former TAW Champion, former Magnation, uh, uh, for, I think it was the Magnation, uh, I think it was the Galactic Champion. I'm not sure if Vegeta ever won the Magnation Blue Championship. Uh, so, uh, in the chat or in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I, 
I know Vegeta was the Galactic Champion. I don't know if he won the uh, Blue Championship. But here we go with our massive, massive main event here tonight. Six-man tag, elimination, no disqualification, no countout. And we're starting with Vegeta. I was about to say we're starting with Vegeta and Liu Kang, but Liu Kang immediately tagged himself out because he knows that Vegeta wants to get his hands on him. And oh, and he oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter that he tagged out. Yeah, Vegeta has a lot of pent-up anger and rage. And oh, and I don't blame him. Going right after Kung Lao again. No, oh, but a counter by Bruce Lee throwing him into... Uh, again, Bruce Lee is very much in enemy territory. Tag made. Vegeta tagging in his son. And it's, it's just very heartwarming to see Trunks and Vegeta working together in this matchup. And oh no. Oh, Bruce Lee is in definitely in the wrong neck of the woods. He is in the middle of a bunch of Saiyans. And now Trunks has a chair. One of them has a weapon. Oh, shot right to the gut. Oh, the Shaolin Combat Club is not happy. And it's, oh, DDT on the chair. Not exactly how they wanted to start this match. But again, this is not false count anywhere. You have to get the elimination via pinfall or submission inside the ring. And now Trunks with some punches right to the head. Honestly, I would go for the cover off of that right there. And remember, it wasn't too long ago when Trunks and Bruce Lee had that absolutely insane exploding barbed wire death match. Oh, went for a 450 splash. But Bruce Lee saw it coming and avoided it. Tag made. Here comes Kung Lao. The man who cost Trunks the totally awesome tournament. And now all throwing Trunks into enemy territory. And now knocking him off the apron. A little tit for tat here. I mean, they were triple teaming Bruce Lee on the other side of the ring. And now they're going to follow suit with a double DDT on Trunks on the outside. And now Kung Lao picking Trunks back up. And uh, Kung Lao had that one-on-one -on -one match with Gohan a couple months ago where he was victorious. And now Kung Lao... Oh, oh, oh he's got a sledgehammer. We've already seen one sledgehammer tonight. Oh, right to the back of Trunks. And oh, oh counter though, counter. Now Trunks has the sledgehammer. Now Trunks has it. And... Oh, but took a little too much time to pull the trigger. Now Kung Lao has it again. It's all oh, right to the gut. It was still crazy earlier tonight. We saw... Um, Shigo give, um, I think it was Hermione, that Snapmare Driver on the Sledgehammer. That was nuts, but Bruce Lee holding Trunks in place, and he got hit in the gut with a Sledgehammer, but, oh, Trunks trying to fire back with a big punch right to the face. And now Trunks, oh, Tag made smart. He got hit in the midsection a couple times with that Sledgehammer, so he needs, he, very smart, he needs to get out of there, but an Insiguri by Gohan. Now Gohan has it. Oh, shot right to the face. And now Gohan trying to choke the life out of Kung Lao. And again, I don't blame him. This dude is an absolute sycophant for Liu Kang. Oh, that, that was not a smart move by Gohan. He tried to go after Bruce Lee, and now Gohan is in the wrong neck of the woods. Man, and now just getting smacked. And now again, he's getting choked out after uh, Liu Kang holding him in place. And now turning him around. And a, oh, a big one-handed spine buster by Kung Lao. Oh, and a big clothesline. Oh, and now he's got that dead... That, oh, oh, sledgehammer! Did he hit him in the back of the head with that sledgehammer? My God, that was nasty. Now into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two by Gohan. But Kung Lao not done yet, throwing him into the corner. Oh, almost into the ref... Watch out, Alfred. And now tag made. Here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. Oh, big body splash in the corner. And now the World Heavyweight Champion looking to go to work. Oh, no, Vegeta, some turnabout is fair play here. I approve of this. This is the M.O. of the Shaolin Combat Club, being dirty, rotten cheaters. So they, they, they deserve a little bit of this. And now shot right to the gut with that sledgehammer. And go on throwing it out of the ring. I, I, I would hit him in the head a couple more times with it, but you do you, I guess. And now, and again, this is an, this is an elimination match. You have, to get, you have to get rid of every single member of the opposing team. But a big clothesline by the World Heavyweight Champion, Liu Kang. The two-time World Champion. And now Liu Kang... Setting up for a huge fisherman suplex right into the center of the ring. Oh, in perfect position. Liu Kang, moonsault right at the middle of the ring. Hooking the leg. One, two, and a kick out at two by Gohan, former internet champion. And now Liu Kang back on the offensive. Oh, block that drop kick though. And now Liu Kang, tag mate. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. This is what I wanted. Oh, big clothesline by Vegeta. And now Vegeta top rope. 450 splash on the champion into the cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. What kind of message would it send if the first person eliminated would be the world champion Liu Kang? And getting pinned by Vegeta, no less. That would send a huge message. But a tag made. Here comes Bruce Lee. Man, Liu Kang does not want any part of Vegeta in this matchup. But a nice black hole slam by Vegeta. And now going for another 450 splash. Good lord, Vegeta. Man, Vegeta is in it to win it, ladies and gentlemen. 
A tag made. Here comes Gohan once again. And Gohan going after Bruce Lee here, throwing him into the corner. Oh, and a nice side splash by Gohan into the corner. And springboard cross body knocking down Bruce Lee. And now into the lateral press. One, two, oh, but the Shaolin combat club right there to break it up. And oh, and Kung Lao with a back body drop. He's the illegal man. And now Bruce Lee trying to take advantage. One, but only a one count again. Trying to take advantage of the fact that there are no disqualifications in this matchup, so the referee can't really do anything other than call for a pin or a submission. Now look at this. Oh, counter by Bruce Lee. Now Bruce Lee, top rope. Oh, but gets caught with a power slam. That was impressive. Oh, but Liu Kang in the ring now, trying to distract Gohan. And Liu, uh, Gohan trying to get him out of the ring now, going back after Bruce. But oh, oh, come on, really? A blatant low blow just punched Gohan right in the balls. And, oh, the game of death. First the low blow, then the game of death. Are you serious? Into the cover. One, two, damn it. Gohan is the first person eliminated thanks to a blatant low blow and then the game of death. Uh, we should not even be surprised, but damn it, that's disappointing. But a tag made. I mean, we are, uh, the Saiyans are now down two to three. Oh, uh, but look at this. Oh, Magnation Elbow, Magnation Elbow on Bruce Lee. Now Trunks is the legal man. Always oh, got Bruce Lee up. He's going for the finish buster. Oh, and the finish buster connects. And Vegeta going after Liu Kang, knocking him off the apron. And Trunks knocking Kung Lao off the apron. Into the cover off the finish buster. One, two, three. We are now down two to two. Man, Bruce Lee gets eliminated here. Trunks once again defeating Bruce Lee. Uh, who was the legal man? Oh, there's the neck breaker elbow smash that I hate that everyone does. And take, a, take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, and look, just look at the, oh, okay, a little bit of miscommunication there for the Shaolin Combat Club. I think they're a little startled that Bruce Lee got eliminated. And now they're struggling to get back on the same page here, but, oh, look at this. Oh, and a chop to the throat. Man, that was a little bit of, uh, I think that they were not expecting Bruce Lee to get eliminated there, so uh, got a little bit thrown off their game. But now, oh, oh, now they're picking up a rhythm here. Oh, just kicks right to the face of Trunks on the outside of the ring. But we're even right now, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Gohan has been eliminated and Bruce Lee has been eliminated. It is now two on two. Man, who is going to win this matchup? Is Vegeta going to get another opportunity at the TAW Championship? Or is he never going to be allowed to challenge for it again until Liu Kang loses the title? And now double team and a double nip up. Oh, and now going after Vegeta, just being a dick. Oh, wait, what is Liu Kang doing? Oh, no, he's got that chair. Oh, right to the face of Vegeta. He's not even the legal man, just making sure that he won't be a factor. I hate to admit it, but it's smart. Oh, oh and right to the face of Trunks. Oh, is that going to be it? Into the cover. One, two. Oh, Gohan. Uh, Trunks kicks out. Excuse me. Uh, Gohan's already been eliminated, Joshua. Keep up, Joshua. Trunks able to kick out. Oh, now Trunks has the chair. Oh, right to the face of Liu Kang. You deserve it. That's what you get for being a dick. And an elbow. If I was Trunks, I would have gone for the cover off of that chair shot. Trunks has already gotten an elimination. He eliminated uh, Bruce Lee with the finish buster. Top rope. Oh, but Liu Kang catches him in midair with a power slam. I mean, I, that's why he's the champion. I hate to admit it, but that's why Liu Kang is a TAW champion. And now, oh, a big axe handle. And now Trunks is in a little bit of trouble here. And now Kung Lao with some big punches on Trunks. Oh, but a block. Nice block. Big punch to the face. And now Trunks... Oh, Trunks trying to go for the hot tag, and hot tag, here comes Vegeta. Vegeta looking to lay waste, oh, to the Shaolin Combat Club. Knocked down Kung Lao, and now knocking down Liu Kang. Now Vegeta starting to fill it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and oh, the Capsule Corp Stoner using his wife's move to his advantage. Uh, there's a little tit for tat there. Oh, now setting up for the Big Bang Attack, perhaps. Is he going to go for the Big Bang Attack? Oh, but Liu Kang, oh, Liu Kang is knocked on the apron, but Kung Lao is able to counter it. And a big drop kick. And a bulldog on Trunks. Take a shot of whatever you happen to be eating or drinking. And now knocking Vegeta into the corner. Oh, but a counter by Vegeta. And oh, big clothesline knocking him down. And now Vegeta. Oh, man, that's got to be frustrating. He was setting up for the big bang attack, and he almost got it. But uh, it, Kung Lao was able to counter it. Tag made. Here comes Trunks once again. Oh, and a kick right to the gut. And now what is Trunks going to do here? He's, he needs to go for another finish buster. Oh, count. Oh, knee to the midsection. Knee to the midsection. Oh, and look at this. Kung Lao setting up for that big neck breaker. We've seen him win matches with this. And on drop kick. Down goes Vegeta. But that big Canadian neck breaker by Liu Kang. Into the cover on Trunks. One, two, three. Oh, no. Vegeta, it is now down to two on one. Trunks has been eliminated. 
Oh, Vegeta's got to be pissed. And a big power bomb on Kung Lao. And now Vegeta on the top rope. And a 450 splash. Oh, man. What is it? Can Vegeta buck the odds here? And do can he do the unthinkable and defeat the Shaolin Combat Club all by himself? This is basically the scene that we saw at Hardcore Paradise when it essentially became a two-on-one handicap match. Oh, but Vegeta's doing what he can here. And, oh, oh, tried to go for Liu Kang one too many times. Liu Kang low-bridged him, and Vegeta went flying to the outside. But, oh, but he's not done. He's not backing down, going right back after Liu Kang. Oh, big clothesline on the outside, knocking him down. Now Vegeta's up on the apron. Oh, oh, oh counter. Oh, shot to the gut. Oh, springboard, springboard, sunset flip. One, two, three. He got him. He got him. He pinned Kung Lao. We are now one-on-one. -on -one. It is Vegeta and Liu Kang once again. A springboard. Oh, oh, nice counter by Vegeta. Oh, can Vegeta do this? Top rope. Oh, but, but Liu Kang got the knees up. He countered the 450 splash. Man, this is once again, this is basically a rematch from Hardcore Paradise now. And again, this is no disqualification, no count out. The next pinfall or submission decides this matchup. Oh, and now Liu Kang. Oh, Liu Kang going for the ring bell. He's going for the ring bell. Oh, Vegeta. Oh, oh, but Vegeta. Oh, counter by Vegeta. Now Vegeta has the ring bell. Oh, right to the face. Right to the face of the World Heavyweight Champion. It's too bad this is not false count anywhere because that could have been the knockout shot right there. Really, Vegeta? We went, we went through the entire show, and now you're messing with the table. Oh, no. Oh, shot right to the gut with that ring bell. And oh, right to the back of the head. Oh, this is bad news for, for uh, Liu Kang. Oh, this is bad news for Liu Kang, ladies and gentlemen. Can Vegeta do it? Can Vegeta secure himself one final opportunity for the TAW World Heavyweight Championship? Can the reign of terror of Liu Kang come to an end? Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. Oh, right to the table with the flying elbow drop. Liu Kang is done. Put him in the ring and pin him. Oh, man, I really wish this was false count anywhere because that would be it right there. And I think Vegeta knows it. Oh, yeah, v Vegeta, don't flip me off. I'm just saying it like it is, bro. I, I, and now Vegeta throwing him back into the ring. Vegeta needs to go for a pin. He needs to try to pin Liu Kang here. Things are going his way right now. He was able to get the shock pin on Kung Lao. And now Vegeta was just strike after strike after strike. And now Vegeta setting up for another power bomb. And he connects with another power bomb. And you need to go for the pin, Vegeta. Or perhaps set up for a, uh, is, is uh, trying to pull into the center ring. Is it going to go for another 450 splash? Uh, what, what the hell? You've already been eliminated, Kung Lao. What are you doing? And the referee can't do anything about it because it's no disqualification. You've already been eliminated, you cheating bitch. Oh, but a counter by Vegeta. Oh, but Liu Kang looking to take advantage. Tilt the world into the... No, not this way. One, two... Damn it, son of a bitch! Every single damn time! God! The Shaolin Combat Club have done it again. They have screwed Vegeta again. And now Vegeta will never be able to challenge for the title as long as Liu Kang is champion. But now, oh, Trunks is pissed. Trunks was not here fast enough to stop that travesty from transpiring. And now he's going right after Kung Lao. Man, I would love to see this one-on-one -on -one match. These two absolutely hate each other, but man, you got to feel for Vegeta. That, that He was so close, but the Shaolin Combat Club steals it again. I, I God, I am so tired of this crap. Man, if it wasn't for underhanded tactics, they would have zero tactics. But Liu Kang and the Shaolin Combat Club win. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. It's Frieza! Frieza with a death ball on Liu Kang from behind! Frieza just came out here from behind and just laid out the World Heavyweight Champion with a death ball. Frieza just laid out Liu Kang with a death ball. Did Frieza just shoot his shot? Is Free is this what I is Frieza challenging Liu Kang here with this? Man, if anyone can defeat Liu Kang, it would be Frieza. But that's all the time we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys next time. All hail Frieza, ladies and gentlemen.